Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, a few of you have asked me to talk about the layoffs that Microsoft has announced today. Uh, 10,000 employees will be laid off. So Microsoft has a total of 220,000 employees right now. And uh, that's about 10,000 is roughly roughly 5% of the... Um, of the workforce for Microsoft, actually. Uh, what does that mean? And um, that simply means that um, there will be mostly just a cleanup. Uh, a lot of the questions go towards, well, will we have less um, services? Is the tech um, you know, department, when we call, going to be, wait's going to be longer and so on? Um, I think it's very strategic layoffs because it's not everywhere there's layoffs. Actually, if you look on some um, of the employment sites, Microsoft hires on certain uh, of its platforms. So it means that there's 10,000 layoffs, but they did say some might actually find a job in another part of the company. And so um, I think it's mostly just a cleanup. You know, when Companies hire, hire, hire because it's going well. Um, they tend to over-hire. At some point, there's too many people, and there needs to be a cleanup. And we're looking at a situation, and Satya Nadella, the uh, CEO, the top on show at Microsoft, did say that the next two years are going to be kind of challenging as the tech world is very affected in the past, in the in the next uh, couple of in the past few months and the next a couple of years probably with uh, what's happening. You know, there was a big rush of technology uh, with the pandemic, but now the pandemic's over and, and we end up with PC cells going down. We end up with a lot of people maybe wondering if the technology they're using is what they really need. People are going back to work, so they need less tech at home. Uh, all of that together means that the next few years for technology plus the possible maybe recession all of that is making a uncertain market and these companies you know microsoft makes billions but it still has to stay um and and be careful because um you know billion dollar companies can go down real fast if you just throw away money so I don't think it's going to affect much in terms of what we as consumers and as the general, um, you know, Windows users and tech users will uh, will be uh, using and, and what, you know, we're, what's going to happen in the next months and years. Um, I think it's mostly of a cleanup perspective. It's like, you know, maybe a little too many people doing the same job or similar jobs. Let's Let's see the cleanup we can do. Uh, they did a 1% layoff last year. So uh, this is certainly sad for those that have there. But, you know, they're going to, they're, they're, they're a good company. They're going to actually follow them for six months and so on. There was a, actually a statistic saying that um, all tech employees from different companies that were laid off in the last year found a job, um, a good job and similar um, conditions and similar pay uh, within three months. So Microsoft did say they will help com the uh, employees up to six months. So, you know, I think that uh, it's not a bad future, even though it's never fun to lose your job. It's not a bad future. And I don't think it's going to affect much of the services we get from Microsoft right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.